I'm SirTapTap, and this is Windowsill. This is a cute little Flash. Uh, I think it's Flash. Um, it's like a paid thing. It's like it's three bucks, but it's on Steam, I think is where I got it. It's also on Itch.io, which I got part of a bundle as well. But it's like this very tactile, mess around, you know, kind of playful thing. It works basically like a point and click. It's got an I.O. Uh, an iPad version too, and it's just just one of these weird little you know toys that you mess with that I really enjoy. And uh, I actually played this years ago. I don't know why I didn't do a video at the time, but I really like that you can just kind of mess around with stuff. It reminds me a lot of um, Nog, which it's not made by the same people as it. Uh, Metamorphobet, I think, was their more popular title. Uh, Metamorphobet is made by the same people as this, but just very tactile stuff. Stuff kind of interacts the way you would think it would. You can kind of click and drag. And... <coughs> Unfortunately, the cursor kind of disappears. You can't exactly feel exactly what my mouse is doing, but you can kind of imagine when I click and drag, it just, you know, it, it does what you would expect. But you can just peek around and do lots of fun little things. So... I think I played this like three, four years ago, honestly. I should have done a video then. Windowsill. This is just one of those things I've been meaning to do a video about a long time, and I don't know. It just didn't happen, but. Um, well, it's more toy than game, which I mean, what, what is a game but a toy? I, I don't I don't know why people are like, is it a game? <laughs> but the, the video game part is, you know, you try to get the cube so you can go on to see the rest of the thing. And as, as expected, I took a peek at like, uh, I, 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 because I hate myself, I took a peek at to see what other like videos and stuff. And I had a, I had an inkling of what the videos would be and everything's just like, weirdest game ever. Wow, I don't know how to say this game. It's like, it's, it's a thing that you have fun with. Is that, is that so hard to understand? I don't know, but I, this is why I don't really watch many YouTubers myself. Um, oh, you got bees. If you ever wondered what's inside a tree, now you know. But yeah, the. I'm glad when people, like, when big YouTubers find something like this and then more people get exposed to it and get to see it and maybe play it themselves, but. <laughs> it is a little frustrating to see, you know, everything just like. You know, wow, but is it a game? And just blur. <laughs> anyway, um, that's why I always try to. I always try to highlight stuff like this. Oh, we gotta pump some of that bee juice down into there, into the strawberry plant. It's the strawberry. Oh, there we go. Can we get that? Yeah. So I really like the little physics interactions and. Um, it just, it's just so tactile. It's why, um, it's so much like, eh? I think my capture card is like dying. Sorry about that. I don't know, it just flickers sometimes. I, I, I do have a pretty complex HDMI setup to set things going and I, I shouldn't even really need to use my Elgato for this, but I end up doing it for, I had to do it for another video game. I was just checking out. Isn't this a good animal? Isn't this just an animal that you would just see in a forest and be like, hey, hey, friend, are you, we're friends now. Anyway, I see this little cube. Let's, let's leave before it devours us. So, like I said, I played this a while ago, so I think I remember most of the solutions. I'm still, I'm still leg windmill. You know, in the future, this is where all wind power will be gained. See, you've heard of wind socks. Well, when you only get one wind sock, that's, you know, only one unit of power. But when you have a leg windmill, there's, you know, there's like eight socks you can put on there. It's much more powerful. It just gives you so much power. Too much, even. Perhaps. There's the planet. There's the entire planet Earth. That's how green it is. It creates additional planets. So, you know... Oh, it's windy. Let's pump this up. What are we pumping out? What are we pumping up? Oh! Pumping some rain cubes. Oh. I think we obliterated it. There we go. 
I think the wind. Yeah, the wind moves it. So I told up. Don't leave. Don't leave. Can we get can we get some of the cubes? I want some of those cubes. Give me the cubes. I want the cube water. You haven't lived until you tried cube water. It's different from ice cubes. Different. Not the same. Different. So we got one of these. Can we just like Uh, do I like kick it? I mean, it is a foot. It is meant to kick. There we go. Now it's really cute. Whoa. Whoa. I, I don't know why people's like brain melts when they see something like this. It's like, oh no, an expression of creativity. How terrifying. I don't know. I like dumb things like this. It kind of reminds me of uh, the good old like Amanita design flash things and just the little extra <laughs> interactions in the worlds you can see. So we've got some sludgy pieces. We got a wheel, we got you know, one of those. You gotta have one of those. We got a little paper airplane. I was never good. I could never make those stupid things. I could never make them and work. Oh, there's a skull. Let's just leave that where we found it. Oh, he's just floating around. He's just fine. He's just fine. I just love the way the uh, the vectors work with just vectors are so good. I, one of the reasons I um, don't appreciate the whole animus towards Flash is that vectors look freaking good. I mean, Flash isn't the only way to make vector art and stuff, but it's a really readily available, really good tool for making vector stuff. Might have some performance crap, but hey, whatever. And I'm pretty sure this is a Kirby boss, like a first form of a Kirby boss. Actually, it's just straight up Dark Nebula, isn't it? So it's a final, oh, <laughs> you can stick around on that? Oh, that's great. See, that's why I like these like very tactile things. What is that? It's like a mushroom kite. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I didn't do a full let's play of Nog, but I really enjoyed that. If you like this, I would check out Nog. It's on, it's on the mobile thingers. It's on the PS4, it's on PS4 VR. I think it has a PC version? I, I don't know. I played. I only played the PS4 version, but it was really good. We have a good old. This is anything but a pipe, as as you well know. It abs looks absolutely nothing like a pipe. You know that. I know that. I like this little claw that just kind of does his thing. This is what happens when when you when you cut off a crab's arm, it grows back. This is what the other arm does. It just kind of it continues along, and then one day, it will grow into a new crab. Science. Real science. All the time. Right here. It's a tap tap. By the way, this is a very weird game to try to record. Which is part of why I'm just using the, the Elgato thing to record it. Because it's like... Well, you know, it's Flash, so it has kind of a set resolution, I think. That's right, Parker. Oh, uh, Mr. Cube Man. Give me the cube. I want the cube. Give... Let's put the cube right in the thing. Do you want to put... No, put the cube. There you go, buddy. All right. Oh, oh, we gotta get. How do we get over there, <coughs> Mr. Magnet Man? Would you be so kind as to give me a lift, Mr. Bowling Ball Earth? This is if you were to go into space and look down. This is what you would see. Take that, flat earthers. The world is actually a bowling ball. Oh, wait, no, no. Over. Go back over. Go back over, and then can I kind of no, 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 no. Can I kind of like punk? No, just... Thunk? No? No? No, I gotta get you to... Get get, get down to the, to the thing. No, I gotta... No. no, I need you the opposite way. I need you low. How does this work? It seems to want to go high. Whatever. Maybe maybe I can make this work. Just move him more forward. Maybe. Uh. No, not that far. Kind of hard to tell your depth perception here. I don't. What I really need is for the moon to bring this guy down low. But he only goes low on that side of the thing. I manipulate? No? Let's try moving in this way. 
Oh, why do you go the opposite? Okay, okay. We're not going anywhere this way. Okay. So move this guy into the front. No, I gotta. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it's that simple, huh? It's that freaking simple. Okay. You can just drag on this thing. I, I figured there would be like a limit. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. It's been a while since I played. Like I said, it's been like four years. I'm surprised I remember as much as I do. Get, let, let me go. Okay. Let my people go. There we go. Mr. Worm Friends! Mr. Alien, Mr. Alien Man. Mr. Eye Beast. Always a good guy. Man, do, do not play, do not cheat in cards against Mr. Eye Beast. He will catch your every movement. Oh, 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 that's me. That I, I would appreciate you not doing that. This guy looks like one of those uh, cantina dancers. In, uh... No, you do something with him. Yeah, there you go. I got your hat! I got your hat! What you gonna do now? Oh, oh, please. Do not do. I should, this is a, this is a, this is a scary room. I'm gonna leave. Oh, no! Oh, please. Oh, please, no. We have upset the worm. Okay, he doesn't want to let me go. Maybe eat the hat. Eat the hat. No, eat the hat. Yeah, eat the hat. No, oh, oh. He does not want to let me let me go. There we go. Oh, it's like ancient Rome. With some teeth. And some fire. Umbrella, you know, just hashtag just ancient Rome things. This is the cousin of that face monster that we met. Coliseum monster. Cube! Mr. Cube! Oh, we gotta make a Rube Goldberg machine, huh? Okay, dang. Where did the fire... Oh, dang, that's scary. Okay. the thing. Okay, okay. We gotta Rube Goldberg it up here. Wait, what? into there and then it knocks it over ah there we go we got it okay gotta have a good old Rube Goldberg machine there plop into there bye Coliseum oh I think that's the end now we're going up to going up to the moon yeah go just feels so much better when everything's so tactile and stuff. I love it. Very quiet game, but you can hear the little, you know, things have sound effects, but I feel self-conscious when there's no music. It's like, oh no, oh no, gotta talk every second. Oh no, I'm flipping out. Ascend into the skies, into the heavens. Yes. Yes. We shall go over the meadow and through the woods. To grandmother's house we go. Wait, what? Do I still... Do we gotta open? There you go, you gotta open the space door. It's not a metaphor, it's real. Realspacedoors.com The authentic space door experience. Only, only, oh no. Oh. <laughs> that was awkward. 
Sometimes you get a trial run of SpaceStore.com, and it doesn't last as long as you think it would. There we go. We got the premium membership. We got premium. You get free WinRAR when you get the premium subscription. Did you know people still pay for WinRAR? Amazing. Incredible. Mr. Propeller Face. A good friend. The Finger Sea. As beautiful as it is terrifying. Real constellations. This reminds me of that mini game that uh, Night in the Woods had. Whoa. That's a, that is a freaking vivid. Woo. Now you're talking. Now that is a peacock. Mr. Fishman. Mr. Fish friend. Not very good at fishing. He's fishing with a fish. He's attempting to catch a larger fish. Can you feed the fish to the this? No, I don't think you can. Then there's the horn of plenty. Delicious. I'm gonna eat it all up. Now I want Thanksgiving. You can eat it all. You can eat everything, even the mushrooms. Even the mushrooms, kids. Then it barfs out even more for you. And there's Mr. Cube Truck driving through the skies. Some say to this day, it still drives on. Aw. And. You gotta flip around the. Yeah, there you go. The end. <laughs> well, that was Windowsill, and uh, I love little things like this. That's by Vector Park. What's this blinking star set? Oh, click to visit any previous level. Yeah. They also make Metamorphobet. I might check that one out. I think it's kind of like a visualized alphabet situation, which I might take a peek at that sometime soon. But yeah, that was real fun.